Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video. This week I'm going to let you in on the number one secret I have for helping you to sit down to paint and most importantly improve. Let's get into it. The, the strict technomancer that is Vinci V. Let us get to the technique and learn it Vinci V style. So as of the time I'm filming this, this last weekend, I was lucky enough to have some of my best friends and some of the best painters in the U.S. come over into my house and get together for a paint jam. And part of this video is just going to be me sharing some of the experiences from that weekend and their thoughts. But also, a big part of this video is going to be me talking about why I think painting with friends is something that we should all be doing more. This particular paint jam was maybe the fourth time that we've gotten together for this. And I will say that some of the best improvement, some of the most focus, and really some of the times I've enjoyed the most painting in the past couple years have been when I've gotten together with others. It's not just these guys, but they're a big part of it. And getting together with others and sitting down and saying, we're going to have a focused hobby weekend, day, evening, couple hours, anything like that can be incredibly impactful to your hobby journey. When you're all there together, it brings a level of focus to what you're all working on. Much like when you're working out, you want to have a spotter, this is much the same. But there's more to it than just having other people there to put social pressure on you to keep you painting, although that is a big part of it. Hi. Perfect. What are you working on? Miniature. That is a miniature, yes. Yeah. John, what project are you doing? I'm I'm uh, working on uh, a, a piece for uh, Golden Beeman. Uh-huh. Uh, diorama, and it's got 72 zombies on it, and I've done two. That's not true. You've done two and a half. You're on almost your third one. Yeah, thanks for being positive. Absolutely. You're going to get there. All right, John, so why did you come to VinciCon? Why do you like paint jams? Why do you like painting with all of us? Uh... It's I was hungry. <laughs> it was a good spread. Um, I think a lot of times we, we're just kind of in our own room. Mm -hmm. and we're all kind of doing the same thing, but we're just doing it anywhere around the world. And uh, here you just get to have the conversations with your buddies that you'd be having when you were eating dinner or drinking a beer or watching a game or whatever. But instead we're just doing it while we're also being productive painting stuff. And that's feels pretty cool. Very nice. Having other people to bounce your ideas off of. When you're stuck on a color, when you're not sure what, you know, what composition is going to work, when you're not sure exactly why you're having a problem with a paint, you can turn to another person, ask them a question, and they can try to help. It's unbelievable how effective this is at just getting you over the mental blocks that you sometimes run into. Hey, Scott. Hey. What are you working on, buddy? <laughs> Some blood knives. Hey, hey, hey. Now, is this the only thing you've worked on this weekend, Scott? No, I've worked on a 10-man unit of skeletons over here. And also, I finished up uh, Zombie Dragon. Both projects that I had already started, um, but uh, I finished them here. Yes, indeed. You've, you've had a very productive weekend, then, you would say. It looks productive, but really, both these things were like 95% done, and I just came to finish them off here to look productive compared to everyone else there. I see. That's what it was. All right. What's the value of a painting jam for you of getting together? Ooh. You know, it's just like several hours of uninterrupted time to be creative and just get a lot of work done. I think normally I have maybe like 30 minutes to an hour to paint like a day. Um, and you can make some progress there, but it feels really good just to finish a ton of shit, a ton of stuff in one go. Um, and it just, it, it makes you feel like a productive hobbyist, which I feel like is good for, like, motivation. Absolutely. All right. Are these five going to be done by the time you leave? No. <laughs> Especially now with the way I'm painting this gold and this silver right now. But maybe I can get through all, like, the really, like, boring stuff or, like, the pedantic stuff so I can have just the fun stuff left at the end. Love it. Painting is a very solitary journey. Oftentimes, most of the time, when I'm painting, it's just me sitting here alone at my desk, and the only company I have is YouTube or other people's voices coming over some digital medium. And it's fine. I think we all, some of, you know, to some degree, enjoy that aspect of it, or at least I hope so if you're watching this channel. 
But it's good to bust out of your comfort zone every so often because having those other people there can help get you over not only those breaks, but it can also help you truly improve. When you're uh, finishing a piece, when you're doing an area, when you're working on something, you can hand it over to somebody else at the table and say, what do you think? Give me your honest feedback and value that feedback. Because if they're there in the moment, they're looking at it, they haven't been staring at it like you have for hours. They've got fresh eyes. And those fresh eyes are going to see things you missed. And they can help you improve. Not only in maybe how you're applying your paint to the techniques you're using or the finish you're achieving, but just in how you think about the model. Notice the things they spot that you didn't, and hopefully you can integrate that in to your own evaluation of your work in the future. Hi, Sam. How you doing? Oh, hey, Vince. How's it going? Good. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Surprise. Whoa. S Scott's here. Whoa. Adam. John. Whoa. Hey, everybody. There's some drunk guy. What are you working on there, buddy? I'm doing a little drawing. I've been enjoying sketching again, so I've got this skeletal uh, horse rider. Very nice. What did you paint this weekend? I worked on a skeleton. Actually, it's. I want to do more classy pieces as I uh, start looking around at my options. I've got this Cursed City objective marker. I love these since they, they first came out. Um, yeah, that's the guy hanging from the gallows, but I made this like seaside warning grave kind of thing. I'm going to add the water effects at home, but yeah. It's very simple and uh, fun piece. It's got a lot of good movement to it and stuff. Yeah, sometimes I, I paint certain things and it feels like I'm painting like a little Lego man, and then some things feel like art. So this felt more like art. Yeah. All right. What's your What's your value that you draw out of hanging out with everybody and painting? Oh man. So I've, I get to hear everyone else's answer first. So. I'll just check all of those those boxes like yeah those, those are all great reasons but yeah just taking you know stepping out and taking time to specifically get creative and and be productive um yeah that's what's really special about it and like just changing my own scenery you know i can sit in my own studio all the time so coming here and having this little pop-up studio and just sharing in the motivation and deepening our painting friendship bond and all that um but yeah mostly like the change of scenery and motivation the, the kind of changing of your mindset because yeah i'm just locked in here and i have very few things in front of me to just keep working on nothing to distract you yeah, yeah. right on now i know not everybody's got the good fortune uh to be able to have the time or the space or the luxury of getting together with a lot of painters uh, in their house, you, in your, you know, if you live in a small apartment or something like that, you just might not have the room. If you live somewhere remote, you might not have people near you who also paint. But if you've got a game store and you know they have a paint night, go join that. Uh, if they've got a game store and they don't have a paint night, maybe you could start one. If you live remote, but you're still watching this, it means you have the internet. Join a Discord that's focused to painting or something like that and jump into Hangouts and paint with other people digitally. It's certainly not the same as getting that real-time feedback, but a lot of it still applies. That motivation to keep going, that ability to answer questions quickly and easily, that's all right there at your fingertips. And whether you're in person or over the internet, it can just be an incredibly rewarding experience to share the painting journey with other people. Adam. All right. Now, I can't help but notice this general lack of painting stuff in front of you, but there are many miniatures. Sure. What are you working on? Uh, let's see. I built a bunch of uh, Leagues of Votan uh, Hearthkin, I believe is the name. Mm -hmm. They're the base units, and I'm going to be using them for Space Weirdos and probably other games like Stargrave and all kinds of stuff like that, Planet 28. Uh, I just liked those models when they first showed them off, and I definitely wanted to get some, so I did finally get some. And uh, I just haven't had the time to build them, so I did some of that. And now I'm working on... I'm working on a piece that I'm going to try to put into the uh, Capital Palette, which is the 
um, big fancy uh, painting competition at the Nova Open. So this is a Nurgle, I don't know what the heck he is, a Death Shroud something or other. Death Shroud Bodyguard. So uh, I want to have him be my, my first entry into uh, uh, competition painting. Potentially Ooh. my only, but uh, still nonetheless. Gonna give it a, gonna give it a try. I like it. Now, look, here's the question. Yes. This whole video is about, you know, the value of getting together and hanging out and doing a painting jam. Uh huh. But you are a person who enjoys painting solo. You enjoy the sort of you have a very focused method where you paint, right? Yeah. So you didn't paint this weekend, which is no. fine. Other than the gentle ribbing, of course, we have all given you for sure. this. But yeah, you're still here. You're yeah. hanging out. So what's the value you find in still hanging out and doing things like the assembly or this other pre-work or stuff like that? Um, I mean, it's mainly just the the hanging out part, really. Like, I could have, you know, I've also been working on all kinds of other little weird things. Like I said, I wrote a good list for these guys um, and went back and forth on that to try to squeeze as many points out as possible. I spent some time, you know, just doing normal YouTube stuff, the comments and things like that. We did some play testing for our next upcoming game. Like, there's lots of benefits to getting together in general, of course. Um, but, I, like you mentioned, I'm not... I, I When I paint, I've got headphones on, and I'm by myself, and I just spend, you know, sometimes it's an hour or two. Sometimes on a weekend, I can let her snap a little bit longer, and uh, and that's good, too, so that's cool. But, yeah, I just... I don't... I don't... I don't paint well with others, let's just say that. Ooh. <laughs> That's all right. We're still very glad you were here because well, it's been an awesome time. It's been great to be here. Absolutely. All right. Now I'm going to back up like this, and everybody's going to turn and look at me. Yes. There you go. And you're all going to say something. Something. All right. Whoa! Everybody say something. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. The one downside is I can't beat anyone up here. Even if you don't like painting with other people, it can still be great to get together, talk about the hobby, just sort of jam out and maybe you assemble some things like Adam did. And the reality is all that does is build up that love of the hobby in you. I walked away from last weekend completely jazzed, ready to paint, ready to play, ready to get more deeply into this hobby we all love. So if you have the chance, I cannot recommend enough that you you know, with your friends, get together, plan for maybe an hour or two, start simple once a month, get together and jam and paint, or go to your local store to a paint night or something like that. And if you really can knock it out, go for a whole day or a paint weekend if you've got that kind of luxury. And I know not everyone has that luxury. We all have families. Lots of us have kids, commitments, time. That's understandable. But where you can, where you can make the time this is a great way to spend it because nothing will improve your hobby more than sharing it with others. There you go. Thank you very much. I know this was a little unorthodox one, but I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for additional hobby cheating. Uh, everyone's videos and Twitch and all of that are linked down below. Not that you really, if you're watching me, need an explanation of who Miniac or Ninjon or Tabletop Minions, Uncle Adam or Sam Lenz are, I hope. But everything that they have is linked down below, so check them out as well. Uh, don't forget, if you do want to take your next step on your hobby journey, there's a Patreon down below focused on review and feedback and sharing your hobby experience with others. As always, I thank you so much for watching this one. And we'll see you next time. Man, what are your thoughts on ancient Egypt? Ah, yes, I'm glad you mentioned this. You may have heard. Word is spreading of uh, the, a new war game, basically. Uh, clashes of kings and queens and thieves and rascals and the ancient sand-blown... Uh, <laughs> Warscape of Egypt. Egypt. It's going to be a, a game where you use eggs for miniatures. Yeah. And I'm already working on expansion, Eggs of Saturn. Yeah. Perfect.